I can feel it kicking. Alma Wade here. And Alma Wade here. And this is your Pimp Daily Dose for July 5th. Today we'll be giving you our third and final set of Fear 3 tips and tricks. Na 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 Batman! Arkham City. And new Razer gaming keyboards are now available on Mac. Today our third and final Fear 3 tips and tricks special is all about multiplayer. Number one, plan ahead when playing multiplayer mode contractions. Storing all of your ammo on the top level of your safe house will take longer, but pays off in later waves. Number two, don't try to stay in one body when playing the Soul King mode. You can escape other players by jumping from body to body across large portions of the map. If you're going to die, possess a new body with full health. If you see an enemy getting the drop on the competitor, possess it and get the kill. Number three, the Soul King mode is designed to be competitive all the way until the end. The last 30 seconds of each round are the most hectic and critical. Try to stay in second or third place so that you can sweep in for victory in the closing seconds of the round by killing the king. Number four, in the Soul Survivor mode, getting a kill while on last stand will revive you. Ammo is limited, so try not to use your last stand handgun ammo unless absolutely necessary. Have squad members revive you whenever possible. Number five, the Will Try Again Tomorrow Achievement Trophy is easiest to get in the first three waves of the Commute Multiplayer Map. And that's it. Put these and the other tips and tricks we revealed into practice and you should be kicking some ass. Last week it was confirmed that Robin will be a fully playable character in the new and improved challenge mode in Batman Arkham City. The Tim Drake Robin pack is currently available exclusively to Aussie fans who pre-order the game from JB Hi-Fi on all three platforms, PS3, Xbox 360 and PC. Not only that, but a huge 12 minute gameplay trailer hit the net last week, showing off Batman Arkham City in all of its dark glory. Please, if I knew I'd tell you! Saved yourself a big world of pain. If you don't know nothing, we can just hit him. But oh, he's here! video at www.pimp.tv For Mac Daddies out there, the Razer Black Widow, Black Widow Ultimate and Razer Anansi keyboards are now available on Mac. All three gaming keyboards feature the standard Mac layout with iconic command and option keys, as well as a row of easily accessible media keys. Also included is the Mac integrated software giving you the power of full customization of absolute typing and gaming destruction in your hands. Prices start at $129.95 for the Razer Black Widow and Razer Nasi and $199.95 for the Black Widow Ultimate. And that's your Pimp Daily Dose for July 5th. As you can see, we've had fear fever lately, so all that's left to say is... Uh-oh. I think it's time. Uh-oh. Me too. Yo.